Several years ago, I wrote a brief overview of all of the Shogi games on the Famicom. Now, I'm not especially good at Shogi. I know how to play, but not much more than that. So this overview was mainly concerned with features of the Shogi games. And based on that, I found Tanigawa Koji no Shogi Shinan 3 to be the best Shogi game on the Famicom. Is that how I'll feel after I go through the rest of them? Well, we'll find out. Shogi, of course, is the Japanese board game that's descended from the same root game as chess. You have two identical sets of pieces lined up on opposite sides of a grid. Each piece has rules for how they move. Players take turns moving one piece. And the goal is to capture the other side's king. Shogi has two significant differences from chess. First, pieces that you've captured may be placed back on the board on your side. And second, pieces that reach the back third of the board may be promoted by turning them over. That gives them a bit more freedom of movement. Tanigawa Koji was a shogi player who was at the top of his career in 1989. So his endorsement on a video game was a pretty big deal. This third game in his series offers five modes of play. The first two modes are that you'll just play shogi. There's a few handy features like being able to rewind or advance moves. And the AI in the second mode is supposed to be based on Tanigawa's play style. The next play mode is Hasami Shogi, a variant that really isn't Shogi. Hasami Shogi is played with the pawns, and they're allowed to move like rooks in this game. You capture pieces by surrounding them on two sides with your pieces. It's a real brain-bending puzzle, even if it is simpler than actual Shogi. The fourth option is one that I kind of like and kind of hate. It's Slot Shogi, and here you have a slot machine that you spin on every turn. Whatever piece comes up, that's what you can move. So that makes an interesting challenge, but there's one other aspect to it. If the slot machine comes up all sevens, then you take seven turns in a row. I don't care how restricted your movement options are, seven turns in a row is a huge swing. It really undermines the entire game. The fifth and final option is to watch Tanigawa's championship series, and he provides some commentary on the moves. The manual also contains full commentary on one of the games. Now I'm really not in a position to judge the AI in a shogi game, but I did find a few people who were. And apparently that while there's some holes in the AI that are easy to exploit, it does play a pretty good end game. They also noted that the Tanigawa AI takes a long time to think. I'm afraid I'm out of things to say on this one, since at the end of the day, even with all of those additional features, it's still a shogi game. I really like the Hasami mode, and I think that mode is worth checking out even if you don't care for shogi. This is a pretty good shogi game, but it's still an 8-bit shogi game.